Let's take another question. Construct a four by three order matrix in which the elements can be referred to as a i j is equal to 1 by 4 mod 2 i minus 3 j. Okay, so you are told you have to compute a 4 by 3 order matrix. 4 by 3 would mean what? The number of rows are 4. Okay, so let's create a model matrix. Okay, a model matrix would normally have 1, 2, 3, 4 rows and 3 columns. Why? Because the order is given to be 4 by 3. In which the elements can be referred to as each of these points, each of these values are the elements of a matrix. And each element can be referred to as A, I, J is equal to 1 by 4 mod 2i minus 3j. Now what do you mean by ij here? That's the important thing. So when you write this position in a normal standard matrix, you write this as a 1 1. Now what does 1 1 mean? 1 1 mean that this item or this value a is element of first row and first column. So the first value here represents the row in which this particular item lies and the second value represents the column. So now if you move here again this will be A which is this row? This is the first row so you write 1 but this is the column is the second so you write this as 1 2. Right? Similarly you write this as 1 but this is the third column so you write it as 3. Now as you move down to the second row Again, it's A. What's the value of the row? It is 2 because this is the second row. So all these items are going to have row 2. And what is the column here? 1. Here the column is 2. Here the column is 3. That's the way you can write this out to make it quick, fast and easy. A. This is the third row. So you write A3 in all of them. This is the first column, second column, third column. Similarly, A, fourth row, so you write 4 here, A4, A4, first column, second column, third column. Right? Now, how do you calculate the value of all this? Now, you are given that A, I, J is equal to this value. Now, what is I, J? Let's say we take first value. So, you have A, 1, 1 is equal to A, I, J. What does this mean? That the value of i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1. If you compare these two. Now you put these value of i and j in this particular formula. 1 upon 4 mod 1. 2 into i, 2 into 1 will give you 2 minus 3 into j, 3 into 1 will give you 3. Or 1 upon 4 mod minus 1. But we know that when you get the value out of mod, it is, has to be positive. So this will this minus 1 will become plus 1. So you put it as 1.4 into 1 is equal to 1 upon 4. Right? So at this particular place where I had a 1 1, I will write 1 upon 4. Let's do this one. a 1 2 will be equal to 1 upon 4, 2 into i. What is the value of i here? Again, it is 1 minus 3 into j. j is what? 2. So 3 into 2 will give you 6 minus 6. 1 upon 4 into 2 minus 6 gives you minus 4. But as it comes out of the mod, it becomes plus 4, 1. So you put 1 over here. 
right? Similarly, when you see the third one, again, a13 is equal to 1 upon 4 mod. This is going to remain the same because 2 into 1, 2 into i, i is constant in all these three, minus 3 into j, j is 3. Why? Because this is the third column. So 3 into j gives you 9. 2 minus 9, minus 7. As it comes out, it becomes plus 7. So this will be 7 upon 4. Right? Similarly, you can calculate the values of rest of these items. Let me do a quick calculation for you. Okay? Okay, I'll do this one also. And then the rest of them I'll leave to you. I'll just give the answers out here, which you can check later on. So if you compute A to 1, this will be equal to 1 by 4 into 2 into 1 minus 3 into 1. So 2 minus 3 minus 1, as it comes out, it becomes positive. So this is 1 by 4 again. Right? Likewise, do the calculation for all these values. The answers to these will be 3 upon 4, 5 upon 4, okay, 1 upon 2, 0, 1 upon 2, right, this will be 5 upon 4, 3 upon 4, and 1 upon 4. So do these calculations for yourself and check whether these answers are correct or have I made a mistake? Okay?